Hey folks, Mr. T. Colson here. At the request of one of my subscribers, I'm going to do a video on how to change your Simax HC motors and your gears. Now, I've already done that and I uh, got two good flights after I replaced my gears, but for some reason on my uh, next day of flying, the thing didn't want to get more than five feet off the ground, so I have to take this thing apart again anyways. So here we go. First thing you're going to do is uh, take off your landing gear. You know what sucks about this quadcopter is if you have one burnt out motor, you got to rip the whole thing apart just to get to it. And uh, so my suggestion is if you're going to replace one, you might as well replace them all. Because the rest, if one burns out, the rest are going to follow suit not too long after. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. And keep you informed of what I'm doing so that you can see. And uh, not make this video too long. So I'm going to remove the, the legs. Remove the legs. I put bigger screws in the front of these legs so that they're sturdier because uh, those little screws they eventually get stripped out and they don't hold it so take your legs off put them aside try to keep the screws in them I'm going to flip it over I'm going to remove all my props so let's remove these props here real quick. Try to keep everything organized when you put it off the side. And uh, this is just ridiculous and uh, the amount of stuff you got to take apart to get to one motor. You know, they say these motors are plug and play, but they didn't tell you you got to take 900 screws out before you get to it. So, well, get this going as soon as, as quick as I can, actually. Like I said, try to keep everything in the same spot so you know where they are. And I like to do this on top of this cloth here because when you start loosening all the screws, they don't come out easily until you flip it. And if you flip it on a hard surface, they'll just bounce around. Alright, so we got the blades off, and we got the landing gear off. Now, underneath the landing gear is the center hole. There's four screws in each one. You unloosen them. Alright, those are unloosened. Now you gotta take these little uh, motor casings off. Two screws in each one. Put those aside. And yep, you have to take them all off, otherwise you won't be able to pull the cover off. I like to keep the screws inside these so that they're all together. Alrighty then. And one more.
All right. We got those removed. We got the blades removed. We got the landing gear removed. We got these four center screws loosened. Now we got three screws. One here and two on the sides of the battery. Those need to come out on each arm. They won't. Unless you got a magnetized screwdriver, they won't pull out. So I just unloosen them. When I flip it upside down, they'll fall all on this towel here. Or my chamois, actually. And, uh, just unloosen them all. Hmm. Did I forget to put one in there? And I believe I already hit these. Okay, so there's what, four, twelve, there's sixteen, sixteen screws that you have to unloosen to get this cover off. I like to give it a little tap and see which ones fall out. They won't all fall out, but just keep in mind there's sixteen. Put them all over on the corner of this towel here. And roll around. And you can just pull off, separate them. And take the cover off. And that's simple. Well, it's simple, but it's a pain Getting in the ass. all these screws out of here real quick. Make sure we get 16. I just poke the screwdriver in the other end and it'll pop out. Okay. And that is all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm missing one. Sorry, right, I got extras in the bag over here. <coughs> okay, so the gears, they just simply slide on and off the post. So those are easy to replace. Um, here they are. And these are all brand new gears. I've already replaced those. I'm having problems with this quadcopter now. I put uh, new gears in, new motors in, all in the past couple of weeks. And uh, now it doesn't want to fly more than five feet off the ground. I don't get it. But Alright, so once you got all that done, flip it over, unplug all your uh, motors. They're a little tough to pull out, but they'll come out. Okay, now we got that, and these things should just pop right up from the bottom press up and you have one whole assembly out now to change the motor you're gonna there's two screws my quadcopter came with one missing but I don't think it's a major factor because these fit in there pretty snug anyways so basically you unscrew the screws that hold the motor to this housing and uh pull it right out and there you go put all your new motors in I mean I don't know what I'm gonna do here 
I might just swap the two, swap the fronts for the backs and see if that helps my quad copter any. Make it fly, so I might as well just do that. Some of them are a little harder to pull than you expect, but they will come. See? And there you go. That's the teardown on the XAC. Just do everything in reverse order to get it back together, and you should be all set. So, thanks for watching, and uh, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you, and goodbye.